morning, everybody. We have kind of a special treat for you today. We are at the farm and it's really early, but it is so nice out. It is 50 degrees and we are gonna go try to kill some squirrels today. And I brought my sharpshooter with me and we're just gonna have a good time for a couple hours before we have to go home. If you've never squirrel hunted in the late summertime, this is a great time because the hickory nuts uh, in Missouri, we are kind of known for our hickory trees. So they're everywhere and they are a favorite food source of our local squirrels here. So we're going to go try to find a couple big old hickory nut trees and see if we can bust a few squirrels this morning for some squirrel and dumplings or some yeah. fried squirrel or what else do you like making squirrel with? Um, I just like fried squirrel. Like fried squirrel. Like fish, but squirrel. Yeah, with gravy and mashed potatoes or something. Yeah. Yeah, that's a favorite of mine too. So stay tuned, hang in there. We're going to try to get you some fast and furious squirrel action this morning. So it's really early, but the squirrels are starting to stir a little bit. Right now, what we're doing is listening for crunching on hickory nuts. And we're starting to hear some, so hopefully it's going to be a good morning. If you're going to try to do any summer squirrel hunting, there's a few things you're going to need to carry with you to make it easier on yourself. I've done this with just a knife before. It can be done, but when you've got especially a lot of squirrels, we don't have a lot today, but when you have a lot of them to deal with, you want to make it as easy on yourself as possible. The first thing you're going to need is a good sharp knife, something that you can do part of the skinning with. I also like to carry a gambrel with me when I'm hunting in the summer or anytime when I'm hunting squirrels. So I can actually take the squirrel, slide his head in here, some kind of a small game carrier is nice to have. That way I don't have to throw them into my backpack and make a mess in my backpack. The next thing you're gonna need is some sort of Ziploc bag to put your meat in. I also like to carry some rubber gloves because squirrels have a little bit of a smell to them and it's just not uh, not real good. Not, it's not real easy to get the smell off of your hands. If you know how to get squirrel smell off of your hands well, leave a comment because I really appreciate knowing that. And then also, last but not least, what I like to have is a set of either kitchen shears or game shears uh, to, and I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. So that is uh, he's really old. Um, I can't get him a refill because he's told me to stay here with you. And he's way far away so I can't. So, we're doing a lot of missing today. <laughs> we're not doing a whole lot of hitting. <laughs> the woods are thick. It, the trees are thick. If you've never squirrel hunted during this time of the year, it's tough. Um, I would recommend 
honestly using something other than a 22 this time of year, a uh, 410 or a 20 gauge uh, would be a good choice. Um, but we're having fun anyway. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do to skin this squirrel is I'm going to make a cut right at the base of the tail. I'm going to cut through that tailbone. Might have to pull on it a little bit to break through. And I'm going to get down to the skin of the squirrel like that. You can see how that's white there. That's the skin. Now, the next thing I'm going to do, and this is the tricky part. Sometimes this works and sometimes it doesn't. Especially if you shot them up bad, this is not the best way to do it. But this one should work. So one steady pull. Just like you're taking off his pajamas. Just like that. Once you get up to that point, you can take your hands and you get behind the, uh, behind his, his, under his hide here. Get under his hide here like this. And you pull up. This keeps, this is one way to help kind of keep some of the hair off the meat. And you're gonna pull up. Just taking his socks off, just like that. Next thing you're going to do, keep pulling tight. I'm going to pull this arm free. This arm shot up pretty bad, so I'm actually going to cut it off right here. Then I'm going to take my shears. Ugh, if I can reach them here. There we go. And I'm going to cut off here. This one, since it's shot up, I'm going to cut off here. Save as much as I can. like that then I'm gonna go ahead and take my shears cut the head off just like that the feet off the back feet off the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start here I'm gonna work my way into the gut cavity there and I'm just gonna start snipping away and I'm gonna go all the way up through the ribs like that Come back down the other side. Come down this side like this. That's gonna free up everything in there. Cut that rib cage out. Once you cut the rib cage out, then you're free. And you can pull all the inners out. Just like that. We'll make a little cut here behind the anal opening. Open up that. Get those organs out. And there you go. Clean squirrel. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to wash him off. And then we're going to quarter him up. All right, to quarter a squirrel, all I'm going to do is I'm going to break him in just like you would a larger animal or a chicken or something like that. And take my shears. One. This side, like I said, was shot up, so we're not gonna keep that. Then we're gonna come back here to the back hams. Cut through there, just like that. Come in here, cut through that little ball joint there, done. And then I'll cut right through the middle, done. There you go, you get two, uh, two four, six pieces usually whenever you don't have a piece that's shot up too bad. Stock again for another squirrel. We'll see what happens. Go over to your left. Sweet. I hope you guys enjoyed this hunt. I know we didn't do a whole lot to show you, but it's been a really good time.